Hi guys, my name is Richard and I'm an animator and character designer and in this video, this is the first video in a series of cat character design sketches I'm going to be doing in Photoshop. It was a lot of fun to shoot so let's jump in. So here we are <coughs> in the Photoshop and um, like I say, this is the first in a series of sketches I'll be doing, quick sketches in Photoshop, um, all about cats. It's a, it's a really uh, fun series and um, let me just uh, talk you through uh, what I'm doing here. Uh, now you can see that I'm actually quite far out uh, at the minute, there, there's some grid lines I just put on the screen there. That was that's the, the grid lines are really for me to um, remind myself that this is a 3D character in a 3D world, and so he wants to be. Um, I want to position him as such. So the grid there, just a quick perspective line, so that I can uh, um, sit 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 him in the in, in 3D physical space. Convincingly, uh, and the other thing that you'll notice right off the bat is I am I'm not zoomed, I'm not gone into the detail. The the ten, the thing that I often struggle with is um, going into the detail too quickly. The the, the success the, the success I find of you drawing is not in the detail. I always think of uh, I always think of drawings um, the success or the strength of a drawing in terms of um, uh, you know, percent, percentage of success or the percentage of strength of a drawing and the higher the percentage uh, the better the drawing in my head anyway and I always say that the detail level there are certain blocks to creating uh, strong characters strong designs um, and adding details are really they, they don't add they're not they only add a few percent to the success of a drawing. They, they're not the the the, uh, the major factor in a good drawing. Um, what what is one of the major factors in a good drawing? I find is uh, the 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 building blocks, the the basic shapes. And you'll notice that I'm staying quite far out in the document. You know. I've not really zoomed in very far yet. Um, the the brush strokes are really um, sketchy and um, broad uh, because I'm just trying to get a, a broad overview of this character. Just feeling out. I don't really know where I'm going with it right now at this point. I'm just um, I've got some reference uh, that I'm, I'm looking at and I'm um, almost sculpting him. Page, but it's all. I'm just. There's, there's no detail yet. You see, I've rubbed out that um, the fur markings, and even the fur markings up on his on his top there. They, and they're really just um, not much happening. You see, I've just zoomed out there as well. I'm just trying to s stay back from it. If it works, here's, here's a great tip. If, if if it works small, if it reads small, you're on. To, it's it's a successful drawing. Um, so uh, that is that's that's a fantastic tip right there, um, and so I've come back out uh, again, uh, and I'm really at this point I'm really squinting my eyes. Uh, like I said, I've got some reference, and um, I'm really squinting my eyes, looking at this cat and the lighting on the cat um, uh, to try and force myself not to drown in the details. At this point, I think I'm, I'm starting to feel much happier with the design, and I think I'm about to go in uh, and start adding a bit more detail to the patterning on his uh, on his forehead. There, I know that looking at the eyes, the eyes uh, were the biggest challenge challenge for me on this drawing, uh, and I you'll see uh, as as we go, and I'll, I'll keep coming back to the eyes and rubbing them out and starting it. And that's the great thing about Photoshop, you know, uh, as opposed to uh, paper drawing. I'm a massive advocate of uh, pencil and paper drawing. I think if it's, I think it, it's a, um, 
a vital skill in the character design um, arena, in any uh, sort of design arena really, um, to be able to quickly um, communicate um, your ideas in your notepad to a client, to yourself, uh, to the director, um, whoever. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantastic and vital skill to have. But the great thing about Photoshop is you can, I think it's, I think it's more effective practice. You know, you're not as precious. You don't feel as precious. You haven't spent ten pound on a sketch pad. Yeah, you spent a few hundred pound on Photoshop, but <laughs> there's something a bit more precious. And uh, I think, you, for me anyway, I feel a bit more precious when I'm in a sketchbook. Um, and if I'm trying to learn about light and shadow, I need to buy paints, and it's a much slower process. Um, with Photoshop, you can you can I think it speeds up the learning process. Now here you can see um, that was my favourite bit of the whole drawing. Once I'm happy with the um, the colours and the the shapes happening on this character, there's a, a great brush um, that, a technique that I use with it, where you, where you, um, it instantly creates fur. And it's uh, it's a it's a fantastic fantastic tool. Uh, again, you can see. Um, I've gone back to the eyes. Now, if you want to the, uh, I've got a, a, a training, a free, a free video training uh, series um, on my website. It's animationjuice.com forward slash cat sketching, and in there uh, you'll receive um, some more in-depth uh, tutorials, video tutorials about exactly, really, what I'm doing in, in much greater detail than you can really see here. Uh, uh, and uh, you'll get access to the you'll 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 see all the brushes that I use to create this um, this drawing, uh, including the fur brush which I was just talking about. Then uh, it's a fantastic brush, and um, it's a fantastic course. So uh, yeah, I'll you can see the website on the screen there. And so go and check it out. It's it's a, it's a really great series. And you get to learn how to create really cute cats. Uh, and I had such great fun doing this drawing. Um, I'm actually going to finish the. I'm actually going to do a series of 12, I think, and uh, make a calendar out of them, give them to my auntie because uh, she loves cats. And I'm having such a great time drawing them. And also, I'm learning a lot. The reason that I've chosen cats is uh, this initial um, series is they're. They come in all shapes and sizes, and as a character designer, uh, they're they're ripe. They're they're fantastic practice um, to try and uh, practice your design skills and practicing uh, in ca uh, capturing and communicating uh, uh, strong uh, personality and appeal. Yeah, it's it's great fun. Um, so we're coming to the end of this one now. I'm just uh, this was this was a cat tutorial though. Um, one of the aspects to great um, uh, to great drawings is, is is the story, not just drawing the character, but you know giving a bit of a story. It always adds to the appeal, and that's what you're, you're trying to sell. You're trying to sell uh, you're trying to sell the idea of the character. Not just the look and the texture of it, but the idea of him. And so that adding a story element to those pictures is is a great technique. So I'm just spending a little time here painting in the uh, the ball of wool there, or the ball of yarn, or whatever you're in America, or twine. I don't know what you call it. Um, but here we go. We're just come to the end of this drawing. We're going to frame it now and. Um, Play around with the lighting a little bit, and the final touches, and uh, this drawing is finished. There you go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, make sure to subscribe below. And like I say, if you do want to receive some free video training uh, on how to get started designing your own adorable and personality-filled cat character designs, uh, head on over to www.animationjuice.com forward slash cat.
cat sketching. Uh, you can get started straight away. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you later.